welcome to my channel again um today we are coming to make something special it's very special to me and i love it so much so i want to share the recipe with you i'm coming to make sobolo today here is my sobolo ready to go it's all cleaned up here is my ginger ready to be cleaned this is my pineapple flavor and this is pepper a dried pepper this I don't actually know the English name, but in kitchen kitchen, here it is. I'll add some. This is my sugar, and this is not a regular sobolo that we put in bottles and those one. This one I'm going to make it popsicle, so it's popsicle sobolo. So this uh, molds that you pour the sobolo inside, you put this in, you cover it, and it you freeze it. You just pull it out, and there you have your popsicle. So today that's what you are going to make today ready to go follow me here we have our hot water ready and boiling and let's start the process so we are going to add the sobolo to the boiling water here In and we get a spatula and just mix it up just like that. So here we have a ginger on the cutting board, and I'm going to cut it into small pieces. I'm just cutting the excess places that I don't want. And we cut it into small pieces. Just the camera. Just like this. Well, this will be best if you grate it. You see? If you grate the ginger, next time I'll do it that way and you see which one you get the flavor from. Either this one or the grated one. So if you grate it, you may end up getting much and much flavor from the ginger but right now I'm really in a hurry so you should just cut it like this there is our ginger and this is our pepper not the regular pepper I use I ran out of that and I got this one from the shop nearby I'll be going to the market this weekend so I really had to use this one the last time I used this one it wasn't that hot so I'm going to use much because I like my silver very hot yeah And if you want, you not cut the pepper. I just want it to be hot. That's why I'm cutting it. Yeah. Ew. So this is uh, getting kitty. I'll use that one. I'll just hit it like this. To extract the flavor I'm not cutting it into two I'm just cutting it but not deep yes this is like giving it a mark or something yeah so there is our cut ginger 
pepper and and it's in it. I'm going to add it to the two bowl now. Now leave it. This is boiling down, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. Stir it. Just leave it like that. Just covering it halfway, leaving it medium heat, and we will leave it like this for about um, 15 to 20 minutes. I want it to cook. Then I'll drain it and add a little bit of water to it and cook it again. It's ready now. It's been like 15 to 20 minutes. So we are going to drain the first one. Then we will cook it for the second time and that will be ready. So I'm using this strainer to drain it. The big one and then later I'll use the small one to drain it. So now, going to raise it just like this. And I'll put it back on fire with some water here. Just drain it, it's very hot. So yeah, I'll cook it for the second time. And yeah, we'll be done by then. So I'll leave this here and this one in here. Put it aside. And then you add more water to this one. Mix it all up. Then here, yeah, cover it for 10 minutes. And we will drain it again. And we use the small strainer to drain it again. Then that will be it. See you then. It has been like 15 minutes now. And um, the sobolo is um, ready. So I'm going to strain the second one. So this is my leftover um, pineapples that I have in the fridge and I'm going to mash them. So I'm going to hopefully mash it with my spatula. It's a little hard, I don't know why. But, yeah. So I will add this pineapple to wait whilst it's hot now to extract the flavor. And that will do. Put it here. So now the pineapple is in this one. I'll just stir it like this for some time. Then the sugar and stir it. I'm adding the sugar whilst it's hot so that it melts well. sugar I think that will do now I'll add the flavor a cup of it and stir it 
going to rinse it over again till I feel that the pineapple is, um, I mean the sugar is melted and I'll add it to the entirety. We are going to leave it like this for like an hour to, um, I'll leave it for an hour to just cool down and I'll fill them in the mold okay. just a little clean up we are done here so well, this is our final product this is our sobolo lollipop I'm going to remove one and show you how it is. See how cute it is. I'll show you one in a sec. So here we go. Just pull it a little bit. And here we have our very beautiful Sobolo lollipop. Did you see how beautiful it is? And it tastes very great too. I'm just going to have taste on this one and put the rest in the freezer. Thank you. I hope you try this recipe and you'll meet next time. Take care. Have a nice day.